Ladies and gentlemen, I would like just to make an announcement. The European Parliament wants to ratify the association and free trade agreement with Ukraine parallel uh, to the Ukrainian Parliament. Therefore, it is our plan that the European Parliament will, when Ukraine will stick to that, on the 16th of September in the plenary of the European Parliament. Therefore, the Foreign Affairs Committee has to make its decision to bring that on the way to the plenary. This was done by report of Mr. Sajoswolski today. We got the support of uh, the committees involved in that question, so that, for example, the Trade Committee agreed with that procedure both and of the content of this decision to be positive. And we had uh, a result that 49 members voted with yes, eight members voted with no, four abstentions. 49 to 8 to 4, and I think that is an overwhelming positive signal uh, to all interested parties, but especially to the people of Ukraine, that the European Parliament will stick as the whole European Union to its obligation for an agreement which was signed already by the European Union. Mr. Sajoswalski. Well, it was wish and will of the Ukrainian people to be associated with the European Union. It was expressed. Uh, at the Euromaidan, and the high price for that uh, has been and is being paid. We couldn't do otherwise than to extend our helping hand and to proceed uh, in a quick manner in order to send a signal in this very dramatic moment for the Ukrainian nation that we, the European Parliament, we stand behind Ukraine and we offer them uh, ratification of the association agreement between the European Union and Ukraine. It has been today decided by the Foreign Affairs Committee and our intention is to make the ratification uh, a fact in the forthcoming next week's Strasbourg plenary session and to strengthen this symbolic uh, signal and message from the European Parliament to the Ukraine nation. We'll do that on the same day as it will be ratified by the Ukraine's Parliament, Virchowna Rada. Slava Ukraini. Uh, any questions? I think that has partly already started with the financial support, but it's uh, difficult for the Ukrainian government uh, to fulfill that all, uh, because if someone organizes war in your country, then it's difficult to transform your country in a peaceful manner. And therefore, I think it's a condition for all positive development that Russia takes its weapons and its soldiers out of Ukraine, and that the Ukrainian government, which is legitimized by elections, and uh, has the chance to develop it for the whole country, but I think it should be anyway uh, get a transformation process with our support in the regions where the government has a say for that. And I believe that the European Union, which has uh, said they will give 11 billion euros for the reform plan, uh, but also 17 billion euros from the International Monetary Fund, is a big basis, but anyway, we have to look for money, for more money, because of the present situation within Ukraine, especially because of the illegal trade sanctions of Russia against Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you.